What's going on guys, McCorkin coming back at you today with another episode of our Arizona Cardinals franchise mode. And in episode 3, I just want to do a quick recap of last week going up against the uh, Detroit Lions. Uh, we did come out with a victory, had a slow start, but we definitely improved over the course of the game and uh, pulled out the win. Had a couple upgrade points to use after that game was over, one of them going to Kyler Murray, which definitely helps, bringing him up to a 74. The second was to Andy Isabella, bringing him up to a 73 overall. Definitely want to get him more involved. Uh, we had a couple points on the defense as well. Byron Murphy, our corner two, got one. And then Buda Baker, our starting free safety, got one as well. Uh, one thing I did want to mention about our roster is that I didn't even notice we've got this rookie here, Lamont Guilard. I uh, probably butchered that name, but that's what it looks like. Uh, he's a rookie. I totally didn't even realize it. We got a 23 year old rookie, 66 overall center on the team, so we're definitely going to give him the start over AQ Shipley, uh, who is actually a 64 compared to a 66 overall. I don't know why Shipley was starting, but he was. Uh, so we moved Guilard up into that center spot. Uh, hopefully he can develop, and if he can, uh, we really don't need to replace him as long as he can get up into the at least high 70s for overall. Uh, we'll see what kind of production. Uh, he can have, but uh, we're going to start Guilard at that uh, starting center spot. The other notable things that happened last week, uh, we had a couple injuries, one to TJ Logan, who uh, got injured early, or maybe even before the game, I don't really remember, but he's out, uh, just for a couple more weeks with a dislocated ankle. Uh, the one that really hurts though is Jordan Hicks, we've got him out with injury, shoulder tear for three weeks, uh, so we're going to have to start Tanner Vallejo who, I don't know if you watched last episode, but if you didn't, made essentially the game-saving interception. Uh, so Tanner Vallejo should be good in, uh, in uh, replacing Jordan Hicks while he's out on injury. I uh, hope to have him back as soon as possible, though. All right, and the only other thing I changed was I upped the minimum play clock time to 25 seconds instead of 20. Uh, the game felt pretty fast, and I want to make sure we are as realistic as possible. So this should give us a little bit more time. Week two of our season here where we go into Baltimore to take on the Ravens and let's see the battle between Kyler Murray and Lamar Jackson. Let's see who can come out victorious in this one. We're gonna blitz. It works, we get to him. Oh, and a nasty hit. They don't blitz. We're gonna hit Clay in the flat. And he's able to get a nice first. Nice job, Charles Clay. All right, after an inaccurate throw by Kyler Murray, third and 11. We got Seals Jones over the middle. That's too easy. All right, we're going to send the speedy Kirk on a jet sweep. Oh, my God. We get destroyed in the backfield. Not even close. All right, we got a difficult third and 18 here. If we can at least pick up some yards and help our kicker out, that'd be nice. We get Seals Jones for the first. Big pickup. Just take three and go up three, nothing. And we're gonna drop eight back in coverage. Play a contain on Lamar Jackson. And we get the sack with a three man pressure. It's Corey Peters. And we're getting the ball back. They blitz. A bad throw! And a panic on a blitz! And we make a huge mistake. And fairly quickly, the game is kind of falling apart. Let's see if we can muster something on third and 12. And we... Oh, great pass. David Johnson again with some space. Oh! Oh, David Johnson! Woohoo! All right, they're playing press coverage. Edmonds is wide open. Edmonds is going to get into the end zone for the second time this season. One touchdown last week. One so far this week. And out of the backfield, catching the ball, he has been quite the player for us. Oh, and we go into pass coverage and a great play. Corey Peters, it looks like. Yes, sir. 
and Fitz gets open, old reliable, and another third down conversion. We've been great on third down today. And let's see what we can come up with. Seals Jones is wide open. Beautiful play. Keeping it going. Another first down here. And we got Seals Jones again. Oh, and he holds on. What a great play. I thought for sure he was dropping that ball. Or not. Oh. oh, they got it. We hit Isabella over the middle. Oh, no! Come on, Kyler. You're killing me, bro. We have Fitz wide open. Fitz was wide open. And Kyler just absolutely airmailed it. Oh, big hit from Tanner Vallejo. Intercepted by Byron Murphy! He's taking it the whole way! No way! Lamar Jackson is not catching up. Come on! Oh, a big play from Byron Murphy. David Johnson takes it in. Huge play from Byron Murphy. And David Johnson walks in untouched. 17-10 Cardinals. Come on! They're going to come out and attempt a 58-yard field goal. It is the greatest kicker in the NFL, Justin Tucker. Oh, we almost get there for the block, and Tucker drills it from 58. I think he had wind with him, but either way, Justin Tucker's a boss. We're going to try and run a draw on what looks like a blitz. Oh, and David Johnson sidesteps. Johnson on the sideline. Johnson might go all the way. Johnson to the 20. No, and they catch up. The 15, huge play from David Johnson. Oh. <laughs> My voice won't stop cracking. What the fuck? <laughs> Andy Isabella's in for the touchdown and a flag. Holding on the offense. Oh. On a great play. Just Justin Poo. Justin Poo holds. And kills it. We're doing it. Right up the middle. Don't give a damn. And jam it down their throat. It's Chase Edmonds, and he's in for the score. Another touchdown for the Cardinals. Twenty. Oh, we almost had another pick for Byron Murphy, and the rookie's playing sensational out here. Byron Murphy picks it off again. Two interceptions. The rookie's having a huge game. Andy is the shortest guy on the field. Yeah, that's not working. <laughs> I like it. I think it looks good. It does look good. It's shit is what it is. It's terrible. Hassan Reddick! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, Hassan Reddick. What are you doing? That was perfect. Who is this guy? Come on, what's going on? Two broken tackles? Alright, well, they just lost Marquise Brown, which is like 70% of who Lamar Jackson's been going to. And it's intercepted for a third time! Byron Murphy Jr. Who is this kid? He's gonna break the record. All right, I wanna put this game away, so we're gonna see what we can come up with here. We got a man, it's Christian Kirk. He's open, he's got it! Big play, Murray to Kirk. And we're going to try a screenplay here to DJ. We're able to make it work last game. And it works again. That's easy. That's easy. Come get it. Another touchdown. David Johnson. 
on the reception from Kyler Murray. And the second half has been an utter domination by this Cardinals team, both offensively and defensively. Oh, Buddha! Man, we'd have five picks if we didn't have two dropped interceptions. Whoa! Patrick Peterson intercepts Lamar Jackson. And Lamar Jackson... <laughs> Come on, don't do it to me. That's what I thought. <laughs> Oh, 95 yards, Patrick Peterson intercepts Lamar Jackson. And if we hadn't sealed it already, that will do it right there. What are you doing, Lamar? I'm standing right fucking there. What are you doing? Oh, here he comes, fucking track star Lamar Jackson. <laughs> Oh, man. What a day. Arizona Cardinals go into Baltimore and absolutely embarrass the Ravens. 38-13. Five interceptions for Lamar Jackson. It was like he was trying to throw picks. Looking at stats. <laughs> Kyler Murray had a, eh, you know, eh, day. Good yardage. Two touchdowns, but he did throw two picks. Uh, Lamar Jackson... Do we even have to go into it? Five interceptions on the day. Three to Byron Murphy Jr., one to Pat Pete, and one to Hassan Reddick. Running the ball, excellent. If not for that long run, we'd probably have 85, 90 yards. But David Johnson with 150 yards on the day and a touchdown. Very nice day from him. Receiving, uh... Seals Jones, 7 of 92, 7 for 92. Fitz went 4 for 41. David Johnson, 3 for 14 and a touchdown. Christian Kirk had 3 for 74. Isabella, pretty pretty lousy day, but that's okay. We've we'll got to get him involved more going forward. Defensively, obviously, huge day. Had so many tackles for loss. 3 for Chandler Jones, 3 for Suggs, 2 for Byron Murphy. Two for Vallejo, two for Corey Peters, and one for these four here, Buddha, Phylon, Reddick, and Swearinger. Interceptions on the day, like I said, three for Murphy, one for Pat Pete, one for Reddick. And uh, Pat Pete took it to the house, 98 yards, my God. And a lot of pass deflections as well. Great day defensively. Lamar Jackson is going to be having nightmares for quite a while. All right, so after the uh, Arizona Cardinals went into Baltimore and absolutely demolished the Ravens, coming back and looking at the weekly awards for Week 2, and you know it's Byron Murphy. Three tackles, three interceptions on the day. Uh, he also had two tackles for loss that are not showing up there and a pass deflection. So our rookie, Byron Murphy, absolutely killed it in Week 2. Hope to see more of the same from him going forward. Uh, awesome thing here. We got a breakout player. Uh, so we'll try to see what we can do to get Ricky Seals Jones a dev trait upgrade. I'm pretty sure he's just a normal dev right now. So we need to try to get him 100 yards receiving or two touchdowns in week three. And aside from that, we're going to go ahead and leave it here and resume normal operations in week three. Uh, but a great, great game from our defense in week two. We absolutely killed it. Lamar Jackson with a piss-poor day, five interceptions against this defense. And uh, I could not be more thrilled. Cardinals are 2-0 and in a pretty difficult division. The Seahawks are 0-2. Rams are 2-0. and Surprising from the Seahawks. But anyway, we're going to leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And subscribe if you want to see more from me in this Arizona Cardinals franchise mode. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace out.